just wanted to make this update here real quick um so i've gone for i've, I've, come, I've come to my pages over here and i said i have 18 pages indexed now what has happened is two out of um so what has happened here is one out of the two pages have been indexed and i'll show you this real quick but let me go to discovered currently not indexed and let me just show you here real quick that all of these pages are still not indexed because we didn't work on these. None of these pages have been indexed. Okay, but that's, that is something I, I, I explain in this video. This one is the one that we, one of the two that we worked on, which has not been indexed yet. Now, the one that was indexed, and this was, pro, this is maybe not indexed because well, I just checked and this page has not been crawled yet. So as soon as this page is recrawled, this will be indexed. Um, but let me show you that the page, and this is like just days later that this was indexed. And we take a look here is why using topical map generators are a bad idea. This was indexed just days later um, after I made that update, which I talk about in this video. So this is a really important video for anyone who's facing this problem because this will help you fix it ASAP. So one of the most important parts of ranking your website is knowing exactly what pages are being indexed and what, more importantly, what pages Google acknowledges or knows or is aware of is on your website, but it's not willing to index. And so the, the place you'd want to go is Google Search Console. So you go to Google, Google Search Console, click on pages on the left, and then scroll down on the right. And there is a section called discovered currently not indexed. You click on that. And you go, it shows you a list of pages that Google knows exist, but Google is not willing to index. Now, the various reasons for why Google does not want to index those pages, usually is because those are low quality pages. So you'll mainly see pages like a card page, you'll see pages like a thank you page. If it's not been, in, no, if it's, if, if it's a no index page, then you know, you'll not see it. But if, if you left that page indexed, you will see that page and all, all the other pages. But if you see pages, that you want indexed, like a blog post or a page that you created and you want to rank or is part of a silo, then if that page is not indexed and Google is aware that the page exists, then you have a problem is it's not going to work as a silo. So in this video, I'm going to look at a, very, at a few very quick uh, steps that I take usually to get these pages to index when Google knows and acknowledges that these pages exist. Before I go into the video, I just want to say I do SEO for a living. I provide consultation services. I also provide SEO services, monthly SEO. Plus, I also provide uh, press release services and topical, topical mapping services. So if you're looking for someone to help you out with your SEO, there's a link in the description to, the Google, to a Google Forms. You can click the link, fill out the form, and I can help you with over 20 years of experience. I can obviously help most people in most industries. But if you have a question, I'm also willing to answer any questions you have um, during a consultation call, stay in touch with me. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're on my website's Google Search Console. And as everybody knows, this is cloudseodubai.com. So one of the most important things that people often overlook is when you go into your search console, if you don't have search console set up, make sure that you have search console set up because without it, you, it's pretty hard to do SEO. Um, and it's very, and it's free to set up for those who don't know the setup. It's very easy to set up. It's quick to set up. If you're having a problem setting up Google search console, you can always get in touch with me. Once Google search console is set up, it takes around a month for it. To, if you already have an established website, it takes around a month for Google search console to uh, you know, just index pages, go through all the pages and then they'll show you all the problems that are wrong with your website. But so I already have Google search console set up, it's set up for a while from when I started the website. And since it's a brand new website, I've not been working on it a lot. I don't have a lot of time to work on it. But what I do is, is I always check, I go to index, uh, when I log into Google search console, I go to pages and I, you know, go to indexing and pages and then discovered currently not indexed. Now, Mainly these are pages that, you know, Google sees that knows that it's on your website, but it's not really interested in indexing. And then there could, could, could be a weird myriad of reasons of why that's the case. If you ask Google, Google doesn't really give us any information. And so we need to do this ourselves. Um, the about us page, if you look at my about us page, it's not really much there. And Google doesn't see any value in my website's about us page. And 
Yeah, because it's blank. So obviously it knows it's, it, the about us page is there, but it's not indexed. Um, the about page, the card page, how to, this is mainly my my main blog category, news, and then it's uncategorized. Un un and so these pages exist. They don't really have a lot of content in them. I should be cleaning them up, but yeah, I don't have the time to do it. Uh, so we'll just scroll through uh, the discovered currently not indexed. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find pages that I want indexed and are not indexed. And I want to find out why they're not indexed. So one of the pages here is how to create a topical map for SEO. So this is one page I want indexed that's not indexed. Uh, and, and I deliberately created this page and I'll go into why I created these pages. And then it's uh, topical map generators are a bad idea. It's another page. Now I have both these pages open over here. And if you go through this page, it says why topical map generators are a bad idea. It just, you know, goes into why you shouldn't. Now, there are two problems with this page right off the bat. A, this page is, is not very detailed. There's not a lot of detail in this page. So Google might not see it as being as very valuable. The second thing is, you know, there are no images on these pages. So, you know, Google says that maybe this is not a very interesting page. Now, keep in mind that Google is trying to index pages that are of value. And the only way, that, one of the ways that Google would know that this is of value is if you've put enough effort into the pages and you're creating the pages. And this is just a wall of text as it's copied and pasted text into this. Um, and then there are links over here and I'll go into why I created these pages. And then the second one over here is, you know, this is all the same case. So it's got quite, it's got more content than the pre previous page. But as, if you, you know, go through it, it doesn't have a picture. It's, you know, it's just a wall of text and walls of text. And, you know, the other problem with both these pages is that there are no, you know, already indexed pages that are linking back to them. So, you know, there are no established pages on my sites that are linking back to um, these two pages. So I'm going to go ahead and start resolving these issues and to fix this. And I know this will fix the issue because I do this every time I do this over page. And these pages were created deliberately to demonstrate this. So I'll go ahead and log in real quick and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I do for these pages. So okay, now that I logged into the page, first thing I want to do is I want to add an image. So just go ahead and refresh this because I've already logged in. This requires a quick refresh and there you go. Edit post. And you know, today my internet is slow. So this, okay, now that I've logged in, I've gone ahead, clicked here. And what I want to start with doing is I want to add a featured image because there is no featured image on this post. Uh, click here, set featured image. I want to upload, just created one a few minutes ago. There you go. That's the first featured image for topical maps generator. As you see, it has an image of a generator and the alt text. I will, the alt text for this will be topical map generating machine. Yeah, this is a little play on words, so a little bit of fun or pun as you'd like to call it. Uh, go ahead and done this real quick and set featured image. And there you go. The image has been set. Um, I'll go ahead and do this for the next side when I and did uh, refresh this real quick as I just wanted to save time over here. Uh, go ahead here, click set featured image, upload and this is for, uh, I think this is the wrong featured image. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I think this is the wrong one. Let's... I see even as an experienced SEO and someone who does this every day, I do make mistakes. So just bear with me uh, and learn from my mistakes. So all text over here is going to be topical map, mind map. I had done this over here and set featured image. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to just also link to both these pages from an already established page. Um, but the reason why I'm not going to do this for these two pages, because these were created as cluster posts to rank my topical mapping service post or page. So they serve a the server purpose. Um, but what I'm what I'm going to do here is because this has not been indexed, 
the other strategy I do, and it, says it has been discovered in that index, is I add a, I add around 100 words to the text. And so what I'll do here is I'll do this real quick right in front of you guys. Um, I'll change the text color to white. And I'll start with note or update. Um, this So we went ahead, done this, added, I don't know how many words this is, but I think this might be a few words. They are my best to create a topical map and there is no one way, one best way to do it in 2023. However, in my experience, the best way to create a topical map is to make sure that you are going through every keyword uh, so that checking that it is related to the topical map you're trying to rank for, check every cluster and ensure that it meets the intent before you draft content for it. Go ahead and hit, I'm also gonna do this for the other page. So let's copy this over here. Uh, this is bold, go ahead, update the page. And so mainly by doing this, we're telling Google that this is a page that's important to us and we're also adding to it. Now, what I would also like to do here as another you know, a little extra is I, I like to add an image uh, into the post, which I'll also do. But let's let's go, let's go ahead and do the update over here as well. Uh, this oh, text is white. Not sure. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We're going to do UI using topical map generator is a bad idea. Uh, I have found that robots don't do a good job of generating topical maps. If you are using one in 2023, it's probably AI driven, and even then, it isn't a good. It isn't going to be very accurate. So, in 2023, as of me writing this update, you still want to generate a generate a topical map the old fashioned way because doing so will ensure that you're taking all the boxes, refrain from buying topical maps from people or businesses that auto generate these maps if you're serious about building authority. So go ahead and I will hit update. Um, and that's it. So this is what I'll do for both of these pages. I'll keep you updated right now. These are uh, discovered and not indexed. Now, there is a situation that I have here where this is a very old post. I'll show you this post over here. And it has everything. It has an image, it has, you know, lengthy text, it has a out, out, uh, link that goes out to it. But this is an orphan page. And this is a, this is a page I also created for uh, test purposes. So one of the ways I would do is, one of the things I would do to rank this page was, is, I, is I will, or in, get this page indexed is to build a link from an existing page that's already indexed and build it to this page right now. Now I have the content plan for that page and uh, I'm gonna publish that content real quick. And then once that content goes live and it's indexed, um, a few, few weeks later, I'll point from that to this page and that will help get this page indexed. So as you can see, uh, but this is not all the boxes. I, I, I take this as like the first box that I like to take before I do anything else. Usually 90% of the cases, this will get my pages indexed. But if it does not, then you have to go a little more advanced. And that's something I will have in another tutorial. And so, so there you have it. This is how you get your pages indexed. But make sure that you keep an eye on your uh, discovered currently not index status to make sure that all the pages that you want indexed is indexed.
As you can see, this is a very quick and easy way to get your pages to index. Instead of this does not work 100% of the time, if your content is mainly AI generated, it's low quality content, you don't have enough words on, on your page and it does not have uh, enough internal links, it's probably not gonna index anyways. But this is the first thing to do. If it indexes, you're in the green. If it does not, then you can start looking at the internal linking and structure build. With a silo, you're probably not gonna have a lot of internal links. And this is where pointing a few external links to your silo will help your those in the pages get indexed and also start ranking so as always if you have a question leave a comment below uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video